Hey guys, welcome. If you're new here and you don't know who I am, I'm Christine. I'm owner and content creator of bloomingbrilliant.net where I share educational resources, parenting advice, and of course, information about homeschooling. I'm a homeschool mom of two. I homeschool my daughter who's 12 and my son who's eight right here in Brooklyn, New York. And I've been homeschooling for a while. If you're new here and you are interested in homeschooling and want all the information and help and tips and just encouragement, then you're gonna wanna subscribe and ring that notification bell so you're alerted when you when we post new videos so make sure you go and do that so if you're just tuning in this week I am doing a video every single day and I'm posting them and so you're going to have 31 videos this month every day you're gonna have a video and it's gonna be something it's gonna be something where we're having some kind of conversation so recently I posted on Pinterest an affirmation. I actually posted this various places, probably even here on YouTube. It was an affirmation saying, I remember the reasons why I homeschool. But on Pinterest, I got some fun comments wanting to know the reasons. And so after a few weeks, I finally answered and I wrote out a few reasons why some of us choose to homeschool. But I figured, let's talk about it. Let's talk about why I chose to homeschool and some of the reasons I hear about people choosing homeschool. So let's get into it. So why did we choose to homeschool? Why did we go that route? When my daughter was really little, that's my first child. She's my 12 year old going on 13. Um, I was always doing educational activities with her and that's actually how our blog Blooming Brilliant started. It started with me being a young mom and navigating this early childhood education thing and documenting all our fun activities that included learning but were just like fun play playing playful ways that my kid was learning and she absorbed every like little ounce of knowledge and stuff that I had dropped down. She would just pick things up. So she was a very smart, um, was reading independently at two years old and understanding what she was reading. And she wasn't reading just baby books. She was reading adult books. She was reading like the, I have the art book and I remember I have a video of her reading the description and understanding what she's reading. So she was really smart and she, we had done preschool at home and kindergarten at home and we were getting closer to first grade and that's when you have to decide whether you're going to officially homeschool here and fill out all the paperwork or whether you're going to send your child to the traditional public or private schools here in New York. So her father very much wanted her to go to a traditional school so we decided to look into that and to do that. Since she was so smart, we did have her tested for the Gifted and Talented program here in New York. She did get into the class and she did very well in the class. She was definitely, you know, her teacher said she is definitely gifted. She did have a um, difficulty finding reading material to meet my child's needs that was like appropriate for her. So my daughter ended up doing a lot of checking other students' work and, you know, doing little fun demonstrations because we were very much into doing science videos at the time. And so her class had seen that and really enjoyed that and wanted her to do it for, for their class and stuff. And so she was doing all those kinds of fun things at school. But since she wasn't being challenged overall, we decided to not enroll her in second grade and to keep her home and for me to be educating her. So we could have done other things besides homeschooling. We could have sent her to private school. We could have found um, a charter school or something, but I didn't want her too far away from home because at the time she was getting sick often and we wanted to make sure that I was able to get her and be there really quick, like, and not have to rely on anyone. So that's kind of what also propelled us to homeschool to do it at home plus i was doing it already for the preschool kindergarten years i felt comfortable you know teaching especially at a young age i was like okay this is kind of like fun um and i figured we'll do it year by year and make our decisions as we go and we still kind of do that overall my reason for homeschooling her was education to make sure she had a good or you know an education that met her needs that she didn't have to wait for others to meet you know to reach where she was at in order to go ahead she was you know able to master things if she needed to take more time on things she could and that was my 
main reason for homeschooling. The next reason that would come after that was to have her close with her sibling because her sibling is a four year gap. So he was like, just he was a baby when we made that decision and I wasn't sure of what we were going to do like I said we chose we're going to do this for this year we'll see what happens next year so far so good we keep going um so I wasn't sure what if we were going to send him to school or what but this was based on her we ended up keeping him home as well and teaching him I think the way life has unfolded is more and more people um, have come to homeschooling. When I started, it was very, I didn't want to tell people that why my kid was home was because it was homeschooling because they would all like stick their nose up in the air and be like that I'm weird. But now it's being more and more accepted. And I mean, yes, because of COVID, but also before that, a lot of people want to keep their kids safe from school shootings. And I hate to use that as a reason why people keep their kids home, but it's the truth. Um, that gives the kids a lot of anxiety to go to school and to worry that somebody's going to come in and hurt them. So a lot of parents see that and instead of just sending their kids to school, decide to come up with an alternative and that's homeschooling. Um, others don't like dealing with the bullying. Their kids get bullied, whether it's from their peers or teachers. A lot of parents have told me that they chose to homeschool because of bullying, because teachers didn't take the situation that their kids were in seriously. So if their kids were special needs, they weren't taking their needs into consideration. So therefore they decided, you know what, I don't need to be in this school anymore and I can do this myself. There are so many reasons why people choose to homeschool. If your kid gets sick often, my daughter was um, had fevers every month when she was really, really little. So that was something that I was always worried about, like how she would feel if she got sick and how I would be able to get her and get her home. That's why I need her close by. Um, and just, there's so many reasons. Being able to put your morals and values, you know, teach your kid to be with them versus sending them away for eight hours a day and hardly ever seeing them. Because really between working and sending your kids to school and then them coming home and then having to do all the things that they have to do and any extracurricular stuff how much time do you actually get to spend with your child if you're not with them like homeschooling we spend time so I mean that those are some of the reasons why people decide to homeschool I would love to know why you decided to homeschool or if you are deciding what what would be the reason if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. As always, I appreciate you guys so much. Um, you can like this video if you enjoyed it, if, you, if it resonated with you. You can share it if you know of other people that have these questions, like why would people homeschool? Um, then yeah, share it out with them. And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Have a great day and happy homeschooling.